Wow, it has been a hot minute since the last time I vlogged. I don't even know what to say or what to do, but we're just gonna do it. So anyway, why haven't I been vlogging? Well, I really haven't had time, if I'm being honest. And also, I don't know, I kind of just got scared away from the whole idea of YouTube and sharing my life online. But you know what, here I am, not giving away to fear and also not caring what other people think or at least aspiring and trying to so what are we vlogging we're vlogging a week in my life so it's actually tuesday i'm currently at work i just had my lunch break i'm going to probably go back in about 20 or so minutes and yeah i think tonight hmm what am i doing tonight i don't know but we'll wait and see so by the way if you're new here, hi, my name's Becca and I uh, am a lifestyle vlogger. I vlog my life, days of my life, week of my life, um, anything fun really. I love to just make memoirs of my life with my husband Todd. I'd love it if you subscribed, that'd be great. And yeah, so probably gonna head back to work now. Just wanted to hop on and say a quick hi and get this vlog started because I knew if I didn't, I probably never would. And I really love vlogging, so yeah. It's been a couple of hours. I got home from work, I had supper, and I just want to show you guys a little bit of my Christmas decorations. I decorated for Christmas, as you can see right there is my Christmas tree. So yeah, let's just do a little Christmas decoration tour. So this is my Christmas tree. Is this star not lit up? It kind of like goes in and out sometimes. I'll fix that in a second, but. So yeah, here's our Christmas tree and I love it. It's great. I just want to like show you guys really quickly. My friend, um, Tina made this for me. She does uh, stained glass and it's the Mullins because it's the Mullins house. And yeah, so that's our first ornament as a married couple. And then obviously we have this one from our church. It says, Tis the Reason. And then it's a, supposed to be a wreath of the crown of thorns. And then this one, I can't remember where I got this, but I think one of the youth might've given it to me. And it's just a mini nativity scene because we are Christians and we do believe that Christmas does uh, represent the birth of Christ. And so, yeah, there's a couple of gifts from my cousin. I have not done any wrapping yet. And then, so cool story actually, this tree, the decorations, the tree, the lights, everything on it was actually given to us. Um, this is a blanket that I already had that I just like kind of made a little like makeshift skirt. And yeah, so all the ornaments, the ribbon and the lights and the tree and even the star were all given to us. It just goes to show that you don't have to spend a ton of money at Christmas time to have um, a nice, you know, Christmas decorations, which is kind of cool. So we're super thankful for that. And yeah, so there was a big tub of um, bulbs. And so we basically just uh, took the bulbs and kind of put them everywhere. So I have this little uh, silver tin that I already had and I put some sparkly bulbs in that. And then over here, my neighbor actually made this for me a couple of Christmases ago. She made this and then put little chocolates in it so I have that there and then just the little bulbs around for Christmas and then yeah um these were actually this one right here and the Mrs. Claus over there were given to me in a secret Santa um from a co-worker and I just put these fake plants in them uh just as like planter styles so yeah and then some more bulbs I do want to get two stockings one for like right here and one for right here on the mantle with our names on them. But I was looking on Pottery Barn and the ones on Pottery Barn are so expensive and the ones on Etsy were kind of pricey too. So I think what I'm gonna do is buy uh, two stockings or like thrift two stockings and then have a friend um, embroider our name on them just to save a little money. Um, and then maybe like in a few years when eventually we have kids and have a family, I'll probably invest in like nicer stockings, but just for like the time being, I think that we'll probably go a little more sustainable um, and try to thrift some. And then and over here, we have 
these more bulbs hey how you doing i'm getting a camera for christmas so my phone great but also want to get a camera so i'm hoping to buy one for christmas i asked my family they were like what do you want for christmas and i was like best buy gift cards so i can buy a camera for my youtube channel and so yeah so anyway here's some more bulbs this is actually a fruit bowl and if you watched um my vlog from i think it was labor day weekend yeah labor day weekend i did a frenchies haul and this was one of the things that i bought it is just a fruit bowl but we put these bulbs in it to kind of make it look like christmas Christmassy, and then you have the tree in the background and then the last little touch of uh things that i got obviously not this bulk burn um were these placemats so i just bought them at walmart i think it was like three dollars each and yeah oh my goodness i'm out of breath <laughs> but yeah so i just bought these um I used to have green ones there, but I just put those there to kind of tie in with the silver in this bow right here. And yeah, and then the silver on this, of course, with the blue. That is my very minimal Christmas decor. We usually go home for Christmas, so I didn't want to go crazy, but obviously with COVID, we might actually be staying here and it might be our first Christmas here. Oh, actually, I do want to show you guys one more thing. Um, I have, oh, actually two more things. So in our house, like as soon as you walk in, you see this little um, shelf situation with this uh, framed thing. This was a wedding gift actually from a woman in our church. And it says Christ is the head of this household. And then this is supposed to be Todd and I. Um, He got me that for our first Valentine's Day. And then this is my aunt and I. Um, She bought me that just to represent our relationship. And yeah, and then I have this, which was a gift from somebody in my church last year, I believe. I can't remember who gave me this either, but it's a little nativity scene and it's, it says, Oh, Holy Night. And what I do is I light the candle in behind and then it kind of like gives off an ambiance. So this is kind of my little Christian moment right here. Um, all of my Bibles and commentaries and things like that are there. But yeah. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you was actually outside my front door. Never mind the mess behind me. But I just like hung this thing on our apartment door. Yeah. So this is probably a weird angle, but whatever. Yeah. So that's our little like minimal Christmas decor. I don't know why I am so out of breath, but I am so out of breath today for some reason. But yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do now is Todd's at Bible study. I normally go, but I figured because I have youth group tomorrow and then Compass Young Adults on Thursday, I find the three nights in a row kind of um, hard. I get really tired, especially with working all day. So he usually goes to Bible study on Tuesdays. And yeah, so I think right now I'm probably going to do some shopping online or at least like trying to pick out some stuff to have to put into our Christmas um, list for other people. We're not gonna do like big Christmas this year just cause we're trying to save money um, and just like be responsible <laughs> with our money. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go and look online and see if I can maybe order i kind of want to support local business i'm not about to get in my soapbox but especially with covid i feel like a lot of small businesses were hit hard so if i can i want to support a local business in the small business maybe online or through instagram or something just because i mean so many big companies have so much money that they're fine it's really the small businesses that are suffering so i want to kind of do that so i'm gonna I kind of go back and forth between doing my devotions in the morning and doing my devotions in the evening. I kind of prefer to do it in the evening just because I'm a little more awake, a little more, you know, alert and actually can pay attention. Whereas in the morning, I'm pretty groggy. I'm kind of tired. I don't really get a lot out of it. So I kind of go back and forth. But yeah, I think Todd and I are going to watch a Christmas movie. I think maybe it's like 10 o'clock so we might actually wait until tomorrow but one thing i did want to tell you guys is that i've been reading um dave ramsey's book i took the cover off because it looked prettier but 
It's called Financial Peace Revised, and I've been really liking it, honestly. Um, I think I mentioned it's by Dave Ramsey, and he's like a financial guru that I've been loving and have been following his teachings. So um, I try to like read a chapter of this every night before going to bed, um, and I think I'm going to do that instead because now that I think about it, it's pretty late, so I don't really want to start a movie and have to stop it and won't be able to finish it. But anyway, I think I'm just going to snuggle up now and read my book and then go to sleep for work tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Hey guys. Oh, raspy voice. <coughs> good morning. Um, it's the next day. Oh, I had such a good morning. I got up early and I haven't been getting up early for the past like three months. I've been sleeping in so um, got up a little earlier today, did my hair, and um, got dressed. I'm just wearing a simple cardigan with this navy blue top and some blue jeans. And yeah, I just basically got ready. Now I'm going to have my breakfast with Todd and then I'm probably going to walk. I'm feeling like walking to work today. What I usually do is just walk to the ferry and then get on the ferry and go from there. And um, I think I might do that today actually. But first I'm gonna drink some water. Ugh. Comment down below if you would like to see an actual, you know, morning routine, realistic morning routine, because let's be honest, I am not the person to get up at 6 a.m. and go for a run. Not happening. And nighttime routine, because I will definitely film those. I'm trying to figure out, like, more sit-down video ideas. So I'm thinking I want to do, like, how I budget, how I uh, edit my videos, certain things like that. If that's something you'd like to see, leave me a comment down below letting me know. And yeah, so... I'm gonna go get my breakfast now because my arm is getting tired from holding this up and I'm sure the screen's all shaky so I'll see you guys okay so it's a little while later I had my breakfast I was planning on walking but I didn't end up walking because I was online looking at something and time got away from me and I literally just like did this spiel and realized I wasn't recording so I totally understand what that's like when I see that in other people's vlogs I'm like okay girl I, I understand you now but anyway I was telling you guys that I think instead of doing vlogmas like vlogging every single day and uploading every single day sorry by the way this is super shaky um, I'm going to do 12 days of vlogmas so the 12 days leading up to Christmas I'm going to do like vlog every day because that's usually when we do our Christmassy traditions anyway and if you're not following me on Instagram go follow me over here I'll leave my handle right on this little right here uh, and yeah so because I'll be doing insta stories like every day anyway and you get to see a little bit more into my personal life because it's a lot easier to just like put up a story that I don't have to edit and stuff so if you want more like life details and juicy details head over to my instagram and follow me my link will be in the description and yeah so we're gonna do 12 days of christmas or 12 days of vlogmas rather are you excited yeah yeah he's excited you love vlogging don't you yeah. oh yeah he loves it he loves it you love it right yeah yeah 
exhausted. I just cooked supper. It should be coming out of the oven in like four minutes. It was cheeseburger pie, um, but half of the side was no cheese because Todd's a weirdo and doesn't like cheese. One thing that's on my must-have list when we buy a home or our next apartment, whatever we decide to do first, is a bigger kitchen. Like I need to have decent workspace because I love to cook, Todd loves to bake, and we just like want to have a decent kitchen to do that in. So I'm thinking white cabinetry, gold knobs, probably gold fixtures or matte black fixtures, with um, quartz countertops and a ginormous island to just like prep and cook and entertain on. Obviously that's like way in our future, but that's kind of my dream for my kitchen. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have supper soon and then we have youth group tonight, so we'll do that and I'm just exhausted. It's been a long week and it's literally only Wednesday. Wow, okay, it's been like yeah, it's been a long week, it's only Wednesday. Anyway, oh, I just can't wait to crawl into bed. Do you ever have those moments when you just like want to crawl into bed this summer? Sorry, I got a call and I got like confused and um, my therapist was actually calling me. So we have to do online therapy now or like virtual therapy because obviously COVID and uh, everything. But yeah, but I totally forgot because it's just been one of those days. So I'm gonna take my supper out, eat that really quickly, and then give her a call back. I'm actually gonna go see um, if it's ready. Okay, it's just like 18 seconds left, but. Okay, it's smoking a lot. So I'm gonna take that out of the oven. All right, here's what it looks like. Um, it's just like ground beef, cheese, and then Bisquick milk and egg mixture and yeah we have uh i also made a salad to go with it because we have to get our veggies yeah i think i'm actually gonna end the vlog here just because it hasn't really there wasn't really a lot going on yesterday i did the decoration tour um today i didn't really do much but i just wanted to film i said i was gonna do a week in my life but i just decided to do like two days in my life so just a general vlog but yeah if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'd love to have you join my channel and i'll see you next week in a brand new video bye guys Bye.